Continuing our discussion with President Renew Couture at the University of Houston, uh, we've just talked about uh, the legislature in Tier 1. W one more thing with the legislature, Tier 1 wasn't the only issue we had before the legislature. How else did we do? We did actually uh, very well. We are very, very, very pleased with the session and uh, we're very grateful to our delegation. Uh, they have been able to uh, fund us uh, for our enrollment and for our enrollment increase. I think um, considering the economic downturn, considering what's happening around the nation, I think we should be very grateful for what the legislature has done for us and it just shows us that they do believe in higher education. We've also been able to guess, get some uh, stimulus money uh, that came through the legislature for us and that's in the in the wind energy area so we, we, we're quite happy. Good and speaking of money just mm -hmm. uh, not too long ago we received an anonymous eight million dollar gift I guess you could call it uh, mm -hmm. donation um, of that you set aside seven million for tier one scholarships mm -hmm. another million for uh, graduate scholarships. That's true. Let's talk about that. Well, first of all, it really is an anonymous gift. I even don't know who the donor is. Yeah. And uh, I'm just really thrilled and very excited for, for our um, university. Yes, yeah, seven million of that we have put as a tier one scholars, which means right now, if anybody is uh, endowing a scholarship, $30,000 or above, or a professorship um, or, or graduate fellowship, it is possible for us to take match money from here. So if, suppose you were to give John $30,000 for a scholarship. We will take from this fund another $30,000 and put $60,000 behind your name to be awarded for, for uh, trying to get our tier one level of scholars into this university. Because we know we have to raise the caliber of entering class here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's one of the objectives. And one million we have put for professional schools and graduate schools for endowed fellowships. It's not for yearly uh, donations, but it's for endowed money. Okay, once again, that the tier one scholarships will be for incoming freshmen yes. who, who meet certain criteria. Yes, that's exactly true. Well, speaking of that, so how's enrollment look? Enrollment is up and uh, we're very excited. Uh, we, we're going to be changing some of the selectivity criteria and admissions criteria over the next uh, you know, couple of years, every year. We are adding freshman dorms just to make sure that we have mm -hmm. the capacity to take students who are coming here um, from outside of Houston and from outside of the state. We have uh, 4,500 beds right now. We will be continue to build 1,000 a year for uh, next three or four years. We have some uh, graduate student uh, housing opening up uh, this yes. fall. Next fall, if everything stays on schedule, we'll have the, uh, the first freshman, freshman dorm that yes. we've had in a long time. That's right. So it's exciting times for us. And meanwhile, we'll also have the light rail come here, which will connect us to downtown. It will connect us to the Texas Medical Center and UH downtown. I mean, this is truly going to be an urban campus, an urban experience for anybody who wants to come in the middle of the city, but with the easy access to going to opera or symphony uh, or to a theater or play. I mean, uh, it, it's going to be an incredible experience here. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of that, the arts and student success are two of what you've called the big rocks uh, mm -hmm. of the university. So what expectations do you have uh, for us in these areas? Well, um, for class particularly. I think uh, this is the soul, heart and soul of the university. You prepare um, the students to be good citizens, good human beings. I think you open the heart and soul and uh, I always believe that it's very important. So the first thing in terms of uh, student success is you play an important role with general education. And I, I hope the, that class will continue to take leadership in that and continue to look for ways and guiding the university of how is it that we bring in students here part-time, full-time, traditional, non-traditional, and give them every tool that they need to graduate from here and graduate with the skills that they are going to need in this global marketplace. And as for the arts, I'm, I must tell you, I have attended several events here and uh, the music and uh, in, in dance and in theater. It's an absolutely spectacular program here. I am so proud and I talk about it all the time. I Twitter on it all the time. I, other day I was in opera and I Twittered saying, oh gosh, you gotta see this. Very, very impressive. And I think we still have opportunities 
to take our programs here, arts and humanities, and link them even more strongly and closely with what City of Houston has to offer. Mm -hmm. And that together, we can be an unstoppable and absolutely tier one force in the country and even internationally. So that's kind of the vision I have. Just continue to do what you do here and uh, we'll try to support as much as we can and uh, we'll try to you know, go and forge partnerships that are necessary. The strategic plan that's working right now in, in the arts area, I am just so excited to see that. Good. Twitter. You're on Twitter. I am on Twitter. So we can just log on under Renew Couture on Twitter or well, you uh, might be able cougar, to find me. <laughs> the top cougar or something? Or? You might be able to find me under Renew Couture, but uh, it's, it's, um, the name is UH Press. UH Press. Yes. With a Z or an S? With an S. With an S. UH Press. And, um, so how many friends do you have? Uh, not too many because I haven't let anybody know. You're the first ones <gasps> knowing it. And uh, I will be twittering from Wales when I'm going with the students uh, from Coral Group. That's right. They're competing in Wales and I will be there and uh, I'm going to twitter from there the whole time. So I wish our students the great success. I'm so proud of them and I want to be there to, to see them succeed. Just another example of, of the quality that we have in our arts area and this in the, in the Moore School of Music. Um, so. Absolutely. And humanities too. Let's not forget that. I mean, our creative writing, everywhere I go, that's what I hear. Mm -hmm. And our social sciences. I mean, people know. I'm in political science and people know the strength at the University of Houston. Of course, we need to do a lot more. I mean, I think we need, to, uh, we need a, a bigger footprint on the national scene. Faculty do quite a bit. We just need to um, take care of many other areas and have more faculty here and have the faculty of the caliber and give them the tools to, to, to compete at that caliber. I really do believe and very, very strongly with full passion that we are so close. And now with the legislature's help, if we just stay focused, uh, we can get there we can break one of those three organizational tier one category in the next five to seven years. I do believe that. Well, we're with you on this. We believe with you too. Thank you. Renu Couture, the Chancellor of the University of Houston System and President of the University of Houston, thank you for being with us. Maybe we can make this an annual event. Absolutely. i will love to be here. Enjoy again. having you with us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being with us and we'll see you next month.